If you are using Tails OS right now, stop this video and make sure that you've updated to the latest version 6.11 that dropped a couple of days ago because a critical security vulnerability was discovered in version 6.10 and earlier that allows threat actors to exploit the Tails upgrader software that's normally used to update Tails and this exploit would allow the threat actor to install persistent malware that's immune to the amnesic settings that Tails OS is so famous for. The security flaw was discovered by the Radically Open Security Team, so props to them for doing a security audit of Tails OS and discovering a flaw that could have completely destroyed most people's OPSEC. Now, technical details about this specific vulnerability haven't been disclosed yet, but based on what has been released, we know that this isn't a standalone exploit that can just magically compromise any older Tails OS system. In order to use this against a person, you have to first take control of at least one of the applications that are being used in Tails OS. So that's definitely a positive because on Tails, there's not a whole lot of software that comes bundled with the default OS. And most of the programs that are bundled with Tails are fairly popular and have a lot of eyes on their code. But it's not completely out of the question that one of these programs could have given someone an in for a real Tails OS attack. For example, if we look back on the case of child predator Buster Hernandez, who was arrested back in 2017 after Facebook and the FBI collaborated to hack him, he was also using Tails OS to commit his crimes for several years, and I believe he was actually active as early as 2012, so for five years, he got away with his crimes against children until he was sent a video file that exploited a flaw in GNOME videos, aka Totem, which is the default video player in Tails OS still to this day. The flaw in that video player also allowed an escape of the sandbox in Tails OS, similar to this present day vulnerability, and it allowed the FBI to get Buster's real IP address, surveil his house, and then eventually arrest him once they had enough evidence of his evil doings. Now keep in mind that this is software that's not developed by the Tails OS team, talking about the GNOME video player, because it belongs to GNOME. So there very well could be security flaws in applications like this even in the latest version of Tails OS. That being said, I still think that Tails OS is an excellent tool for maximizing your online privacy and even providing anonymity to people like whistleblowers who need it the most. And like any other tool, it works best when you actually have the knowledge of how to use it. The Darknet Market Bible is probably one of the closest things out there to a general guide for using Tails OS with optimal OPSEC. And even though this guide is technically aimed at people that are interacting with unlicensed pharmaceutical vendors on the dark web, a lot of these same OPSEC principles would apply to whistleblowers or people that are living under an oppressive government as well. Okay, so first piece of advice, which really applies to everyone, everywhere, whoever uses a computer, don't give away more information than you need to. If you're dealing with something like a state-backed threat actor that pretty much has unlimited resources to use against you, it's really only a matter of time until they figure out who you are. It's like you're playing a virtual game of guess who with the alphabet boys in each round they're eliminating possible suspects until they're only going to be left with you which is when the party van is going to come this isn't a game that you're likely to ever win so the only real solution is to have a plan to stop playing before you're the only suspect remaining so it's important to burn the identity that you're using online before you get burned in real life for using it too long. In addition to not doing stupid stuff online or on the dark web, don't download stupid stuff from online or the dark web. The latest Tails OS vulnerability and a lot of the past ones 
require an attacker to get some kind of foothold into your system through a piece of vulnerable software. So obviously, if they can trick you into downloading a Trojan or some kind of malware, that would be the most straightforward way for them to compromise your whole system. So any new piece of software that you download should be heavily scrutinized, especially if it's a random app image or flat pack of a piece of obscure software that you had to install to Tails OS manually. The Linux world has a lot of applications that more or less do the same things, but not all of them are getting the same level of security audits. So if you wanna run a new piece of software on Tails, make sure that it's well vetted and the same honestly applies to software that ships with Tails. Like if you wanted to remove GNOME videos or Totem to use VLC or even MPV, I don't think there's anything wrong with that because way more people are using VLC than GNOME videos, more people have looked at VLC's code, and more people have actually tried to break VLC or MPV over GNOME videos, which makes me think that those are probably more secure video players. So there's a better chance that zero days that government agencies are going to use against software like this have been independently verified and patched before they could have been used against you. Another very smart idea is to layer your security when you're using something like Tails OS. Again, this is something that we see with tools in the real world. Construction workers wear helmets to protect their heads, even though their tools and their work procedures pretty much ensure that nobody is gonna get hit in the head, but that hard hat is still there just in case. Using a busy public Wi-Fi hotspot as your network is pretty much like the digital equivalent of a hard hat, because the primary purpose of Tails OS is to keep your real IP address hidden. So if that fails for some reason, and you're using the Wi-Fi network that's in a busy coffee shop, that public IP address can't immediately be traced back to you, especially if you're using a long range Wi-Fi antenna and you're not actually setting foot on the coffee shop's property to get caught on CCTV. The other main security benefit of Tails is having all history of your actions be erased whenever you reboot your system. But a way to defeat this feature is to simply take the laptop away from you while you're still logged in to Tails OS. So tethering the Tails OS USB to yourself is a good way to make sure that if you ever get separated from your laptop, then Tails OS is going to get disconnected as well. It can also be a good reminder to log out or lock your PC when you step away from it to use the bathroom, because it only takes a few seconds to compromise a Tails OS user. So put these security ideas into practice, do a manual upgrade of your Tails OS USB, don't trust the easy updater tool, and make sure to practice good OPSEC. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it to hack the algorithm, and check out my online store, based.win, where you can get my stylish merch and accessories for your phone or laptop. 10% storewide discount when you pay with Monero XMR at checkout. Have a great rest of your day.